Bull riding has been voted by Sports Illustrated magazine as the most dangerous sport in the world. It's not a matter of if you get hurt, but when and how bad. This reminds me of how dangerous it really is. 40 staples and four days in ICU later. When that gate opens, this could be your last and final ride. You could get stomped on, hurt or killed. That's the danger and the thrill of bull riding. But let me tell you, there is nothing like an eight second ride. Getting on the back of a bull ready to ride, sweat runs down your back, your heart's pumping. You feel nervous, you always do. I don't know a bull rider who doesn't. You have to be totally committed to ride. Bull riding is not a game. You can't ride a bull half-hearted. It's all or it's nothing. Easy boy, you can go crazy when you get out there. I'm setting my rope, warming it up so I can get a good grip. If I get a good start, I'll have a good shot at the eight seconds. I have to get up over my rope and I've got to make sure I follow his head. It's just me, God, and this bull. Now, Eddie, man, go forward. Follow attack. Move up there, Nick. Slow, guys. Yeah, good. I'm good. We're good. You all right? I'm all right. I'm good. You? Good. No worries. Good. Good effort. It's a tough wild ride. Sort of like the battles in the Christian life. It's not always easy. Even on the back of a 1,000 kilo bull, I know God is there with me. We're in it together forever. For some people, falling off is enough for them to give up and say, I don't want to do this anymore. Here I am, 70 kilos versus 1,000. He does everything he can to try and buck me off. And there are plenty of times I don't go the full eight seconds. So what do I do? I get up, dust myself off, and get ready to have another go. I know in my Christian life, in my relationship with Jesus, 
I get thrown from time to time. And you know what? There'll be times when you spiritually fall. You'll come up short. You'll get as low as you can get. So what do you do? You get up, dust yourself off, and run to God and ask Him to help you from falling the next time. Now that's a real relationship, and that's real love. One that can handle whatever is thrown at it. Thank you.